I'm super excited that I get to chat with you today about Murder Anyone. I found it super funny because George and Charlie, you never know what one's going to suggest next. Was there something about the script or about Blaine that really made you want to be a part of this film? I mean, I, I guess all, all of the above, and also I've uh, I've been friends with the director James Bresick for for a few years now, and uh, we were kind of talking throughout the pandemic about like, man, it'd be really cool if we could do something together. And you know, finally he called me up one day and he was like, "Look, I'm doing this movie. It's an adaptation of my uh, my dad's play. His father, the late Gordon Bresick, great writer." And, and he's like, and I got this character for you. He's like, I'm not, I just want you to read it. And I read it and I was like, oh, this is the like most bananas character that I've ever read that I could possibly play. And I was like, yeah, I'm immediately, I'm down. Uh, this is just insanely wacky. And uh, when we showed up to set, you know, I, I had like what I thought was like a pretty wacky performance already mapped out in my head. And James was like, oh, no, you need to up it by a lot. And I was like, oh, OK, cool. We're going to have a lot of fun with this then. Because uh, it's, it's pretty so insane. much <laughs> so much for planning ahead. <laughs> it, yeah, it never works out, really. It never works out. OK, well, then, since you had it slightly mapped out and they asked you to amp it up, um, <laughs> <laughs> was there anything else that kind of changed day of like were you allowed to improv at all during scenes oh yeah definitely um James is super cool about that He he's one of those directors where he's like you know he's he's a really kind of pro actor director and he's like hey man just go for it you know I'm not married to any he's, he's like if I am married to something I'll tell you in advance but other than that just go crazy and have fun and if I don't like it I'll tell you to you know, go back or change it back. Um, but there were um, there were quite a few scenes where he just kind of rolled the camera and let me just go nuts for a while. Um, so that that was really fun. Yeah. Were you familiar with any of your co-stars before working with them here on Murder Anyone? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I knew them. I knew them all by reputation, but I'd never met any of them and or worked with the you know worked with any of them, and uh, they were all just super, super cool to work with, very talented people and uh, really nice. So it was, it was a treat because, you know, a set kind of like any job, whether it's in an office or working in a bar or working in a coffee shop, you're going to always have like, you know, that one guy or one gal who's kind of, you know, a jerk to work with. Um, but on this set, there wasn't one person that I didn't get along with really well, which is super rare. Um, you know, if you ask them, they might say, oh, Spencer was that one jerk on set. But but uh, no, it was it was it was a treat because they were all really, uh, really cool. Sometimes, though, it's hard to get through scenes without laughing. I mean, there were plenty of moments where I busted out laughing and I was just watching it. Was it difficult uh, maybe during those improv scenes or some scenes in particular for someone or someone's to really hold it together yeah i think we all broke at least once or twice um because you know it, the movie's just so absurd it's it is tough to not laugh when you're filming it especially when someone will just kind of improv something or do something really spontaneous that you're not ex expecting it's tough because you don't want to break because you want the scene to work but sometimes it just it's uh it's inevitable okay well then what scenes did you find challenging not necessarily to keep it together uh while filming but was there a particular scene that you found challenging or one that really stands out as a favorite that you filmed um yeah I mean I it's tough to pick favorites because I I had fun with every scene that I was in but I'd say the challenging one without giving away any spoilers there's a bit of kung fu that happens um with us in the chicken suit and it was really, really hot on set. There were a lot of lights going on and the chicken suit I'm wearing was extremely warm and I'm like overheating the entire time. And then they brought in these stunt guys to do this whole kind of choreographed thing. And uh, they didn't complain once. And I was like, wow, I'm a wimp. Um, <laughs> but Cause they were like, just like, oh yeah, no problem. Cool. 
but I was like, there was like, my, I was, was, there was like wet paper towels around my neck. The whole oh, time. I was going to say, <laughs> did they have like a fan focused on you? During... Sometimes I know during the Hallmark movies, when they're shot during summer and it's really a winter film, they have, you know, little ice packs or something that they can tuck into you, little cold packs or whatever, <laughs> tuck into you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they, they had stuff. I was cool with just like a wet paper towel around my neck in between takes that, that helped out helped out quite a bit i'm pretty pretty low maintenance <laughs> what do you think it is about murder anyone that's gonna make it such a fast fan favorite comedy i think to me every aspect uh, almost every scene in fact too uh kept me in stitches and kept me guessing as to what these two were going to suggest next and how it was all going to connect there's a vampire there's a psychic there's a guy in a chicken suit i mean i guess that's the perfect i just gave it away those are the no, three yeah, things yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> um, that'll make you like, wanna... like a spoiler tag um uh honestly i think i think the source material's really great um you know obviously you know, it's James, the director's father who wrote it. It's a really great script. And I, I think the other thing that makes it a special movie is um, everyone in the cast and everyone on the crew is super close to James. And, and we all really wanted to be there. And we really kind of wanted to honor his dad's work and honor James's vision. And, um, you know, it was kind of just a, a team effort to make this thing happen and do it justice. Um, you know, and we had a really tight shooting schedule, but it was fun the entire time. And like I said, everyone really wanted to be there. So I think that when you have a group of people that are really excited about doing something and want to be there and want to show up early and stay late, then I think uh, that's what kind of makes it special and that's what makes a good movie. Well, have you been busy working on any other projects recently? Uh, yeah, I actually just um, finished two movies over the past couple of months. Um, one is a film produced by James uh, based on a true story. Um, uh, it's called Four. It's based on um, it's, a, it's based on a, a book by Ashley Berry. Um, really cool lady and a great author. Um, and that's a super heavy drama, completely uh, com the complete like opposite of Murder Anyone, um, where every day was like we had to just cry nonstop the entire day, pretty much on set every day. Uh, so. That was a pretty uh, pretty good contrast to murder anyone. And then the last one I finished was um, a movie that James directed um, with uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme and Kristana Loken uh, called Darkness of Man. So that hopefully they both should be out, I guess, later this year. Um, but they were super fun to do. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't say that you've had a lengthy career. You started quite young in the industry. What have been some of your personal favorite projects you've been a part of over the years? Um, I mean, aside from the past few, which have all been really fun and, and fulfilling from an acting standpoint, um, I loved uh, all my experiences working with Tim Allen. Um, you know, the Santa Claus movies were fun. Uh, I was lucky enough to work with Gary Marshall on a couple of movies who's... Um, you know, was a legend, um, still is a legend to me, but, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, I, I've gotten to work with a lot of really cool people and I'd say those were definitely some of the highlights. Getting to work with my sister on a couple of movies was pretty fun. Um, don't tell her I said that, but you know, I promise it's just between you and I. Okay, good, good. This isn't, you're not <laughs> recording this, right? <laughs> it's a deposition. Yeah. <laughs> Well, what would you like to say then to everyone who are fans and supporters of the wonderful work you continue to do on our screens? Um, thank you for the support. Thanks for, uh, thanks for, uh, thanks for watching and, you know, definitely check out Murder Anyone. It's a very fun movie. Uh, it's not what you're expecting uh, because I think it's tough for anyone to anticipate anything that happens in this crazy movie. Um, but, you know, I hope you all enjoy it and I and I think you will cuz I did and it's uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs>